Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 update for the main release, which is the C release or the feature update for the month of June in Windows 11. So in this video, we're talking about the build 22631.3810 10, or the build code KB5039302. As I've said, this is the feature update, which includes and starts a rollout of some new features in Windows 11 on the main release. And in this video, I'm gonna show you everything that is new. If you enjoy videos like these, in which we talk about different Windows 11 updates for the main release, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, if you're interested in getting this update, make sure to open up the settings app and then go into the Windows update section and from the Windows Update section, of course, make sure to select get the latest updates as soon as they're available. If you want to get all the latest updates faster, of course, then click on check for updates and you should receive the latest Windows 11 update for the main release. Now we have some features that are gradually rolling out in this build. For example, Microsoft is gradually rolling out a new Game Pass recommendation card inside the home page of the settings app. And also the show desktop button is on the taskbar again by default, but you can change that always by right clicking on the taskbar then taskbar settings and go to taskbar behaviors and you can click on this select the far corner of the taskbar to show the desktop also another feature that is gradually rolling out we're going to be able to compress files to multiple other formats as you can see on my machine this is not rolled out yet but you're going to be able to compress files to tar tar gz and more formats alongside with some other options that will help you change the settings of the compression of that certain file also this update has the emoji 15.1 support with some new emojis added inside the windows 11 operating system and also when sharing files, we're now going to be able to copy those files directly from the window share window. As you can see, you have here the button to copy it as easy as that. And finally, the last thing that is gradually rolling out is the new start menu account manager. So if you open up the start menu and then click on this, you're going to notice that you have the new start menu account manager, which looks pretty good, has a nice little animation, the mica effect, also some recovery options for your Microsoft account. And basically, this is just Microsoft account management for the Microsoft 365 subscription also cloud storage and the sign out button is moved here under these three dots now everyone is going to get these new improvements for example this update addresses an issue that affects snipping tool when you use it to record videos on some pcs the audio has distortions also this update addresses an issue that affects the touch keyboard you cannot use it to enter special characters this occurs when you use the japanese 106 keyboard and also this update addresses an issue that affects usb devices injecting them using the safely remove hardware option fails this occurs when task manager is opened and Basically, this is all there is to it in the latest update for the main release, Windows 11. Of course, make sure to install it yourself and see what features are gradually rolled out to you. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Imani from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.